Whether you're into pens, knives, flashlights, notebooks, watches, tech, all of the above, or hell, even more, you need a place to store your collection. And as someone who's used everything from a cluttered entryway surface all the way to rolling tool chests, I've tried it all. And in this video, we'll share what to me is the perfect EDC storage solution that consists of these and these. When it comes to storage, there are generally three core considerations, organization, safety, and aesthetics. I think I found the best bang for buck option for my needs that satisfy all three of those considerations and without any buildup, it's the Eloven Computer Monitor Stand by IKEA. Now, I know what you're thinking, a computer monitor stand, what the hell? Bear with me as I show you the unboxing, but first, blade check. I'll be popping this open with the Benchmade Tengu 601, which by the way, I do not recommend most people even consider buying. And let me know in the comments below if you are curious as to why. But slice and slice, pop open the tuck front, and unlike most things from Ikea, this doesn't require any assembly. Just remove the thin protective paper and out pops the Eloven. The frame is powder coated steel and comes in both black and white, and despite its relatively thin gauge, is super solid and inspires a ton of confidence. The drawer is lacquered bamboo and, as you can see, has some organization already pre-built into it, with a large central zone measuring just over 12 inches by 9.5 inches. A long slot on the side measuring 2.5 by 9.5 inches, and two smaller organization compartments on the other side, the larger of the two measuring 2.5 by 6.25 inches, and the smaller measuring 2.5 by 3 inches. The depth is probably the most important measurement though, since again, it's gotta be able to store stuff and still enable the drawer to close, and fits virtually everything I personally have in my EDC and I believe will for you too. But to be sure, check it out. My EDC collection consists primarily of blades, watches, pens, notebooks, some slim wallets, and tech accessories, so I'll take the thickest ones from each category that I own to demonstrate what fits inside. The tallest blade related thing is my Leatherman Charge Plus TTI, but even that's not truly the thickest since its case is even thicker and as you can see, the carrying case confidently fits inside while allowing the drawer to still comfortably close. Pens, I don't think anyone has any concerns, but I'll toss in my Lamy Safaris with their double clip. If you've been with me for any amount of time, my most used EDC item is my Traveler's Company notebook and even with three inserts inside, fits in here no problem. The thickest watch I own is the G-Shock GMWB5000 since its thickness is both the watch itself as well as the bracelet and it too sits comfortably inside with plenty of room to spare. I only use slim wallets and this is the thickest one I own yet even loaded to full capacity with cards still also fits inside. My thickest tech accessory is the charging brick for my MacBook Pro and it too enables the drawer to close no problem. Now that's not to say everything of yours will fit, but that's why I love this Eloven so much. Because this functional, very durable thing that's supposed to be a monitor stand also works great as a shelf splitter. As you can see, I have one on each of the shelves of this IKEA Billy bookcase behind me, which means you can take advantage of so much more vertical space on any of your bookshelves. Which also means, from an EDC storage and display perspective, Anything that doesn't fit inside the drawer can either go underneath in the open portion or up top. One relevant example for me is my Benchmade Bushcrafter in its sheath. This entire package won't fit in the drawer, but you keen-eyed folks may have noticed it hanging out comfortably down here. Full dimensions are just over 10 inches deep, 18 and a half inches wide, and four and a quarter inches tall, so just make sure your own bookshelf can accommodate the Eloven. But again, look at this fit. The ubiquitous IKEA Billy bookshelf system feels like it was made for the Eloven. And side note, I used a hole saw and these grommets to enable cables to pass through the shelves and have these doors to keep all the cables hidden. But with the lower exposed portion of these Eloven monitor stands, you can do the same thing and pass charging cables up to them, hidden from view, and have a really nice and clean charging area for your tech. The only other EDC storage solutions I use are this watch box, which accommodates and protects the watches up top, and also has this drawer where I store watch-related accessories like extra bracelet links and watch maintenance tools, and something that quite a few people have asked about in the comments of my other EDC videos is this Revolve tray box by a company called Mordeco. Like the Eleven, the base is also powder-coated metal and is available in white and black, and the top is offered in two different wooden options this plain tray or slotted organization tray. I backed these at an early backer discount on Kickstarter a while ago and have been very happy with them, 
What's awesome about them though is the magnetic closure spin top. It comes lined with these grey fabric flex divider liners and I suppose that's the only thing I might add to the IKEA 11s. To buy some of these Gorilla Grip drawer liners, cut them to size to prevent things from sliding around when I open and close these drawers. If you are interested in the watch box or revolve tray box, I've linked them in the description below so that you can check them out for yourself. The IKEA Eloven is available at IKEA worldwide, at least at the time of recording this video. Oh, I almost forgot, this has all been about in-home EDC storage, but if you're looking for EDC storage on the go, be sure to watch these videos right over here. I'll leave them on screen so you have a few seconds to click, and while you're deciding which one to watch, if you like your mom, like and subscribe. But if you love your mom, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop. Wow, I hit a new low.